At first glance, I just know I'm already getting some tough science words, but don't let that intimidate you. Let's go to the passage, see what we can get. To investigate the history of plate subduction, when one of Earth's tectonic plates slides beneath another, uh, these people compared ancient rocks from the Acosta Nice Complex in Canada to modern rocks. So they compared rocks, right? Compared ancient to modern rocks. Using isotope analysis, the researchers found that Acosta rocks dating to about 4.02 billion years ago most strongly resemble modern rocks formed in a plume setting, an area uh, in which hot rocks from Earth's mantle flow upward into the crust. By contrast, most important word in the passage is but, they found that Acosta rocks dating to about 3.75 billion years ago and 3.6 billion years ago have an isotope composition that is similar to that of modern rocks formed in a subduction setting. So some are a plume, some are subduction. Aaron's team therefore concluded that, honestly, for me, all I'm getting out of this right now is that the age matters, that maybe something changed at different at a certain time in the past and the rocks were formed from different ways. So the age matters because that affects the, I don't know, the, the, the formation. I don't know how they formed. Let's just look at the choices. Subduction-like processes began occurring in some locations no later than 3.75 billion years ago. Okay, well, if age matters, and this is talking about time in a very general way, uh, I'll just keep it around for now. Honestly, I don't know if that's even the right timing, but we're talking about the timing mattering, the age mattering. This seems to be talking about that too, so let's keep it in. B, subduction replaced mantle plume formation is the most common geological process by about 4.02 billion years ago. So you can hear me as I'm talking. There's just certain words that instantly stand out to me as being kind of problematic, strong words. Replaced, most common. This one's definitely a quantifier. We've seen this in many cases on SAT reading passages. Uh, is it the most common? It, it, it says, you know, they found some rocks that are a certain age and then they can ascribe to those rocks a certain type of formation. But are we really like counting them up and saying, okay, we did, we looked at all the rocks and the majority of them are this. And, and then there's this minority that are this other thing. Uh, plus this isn't even focused on just this area, right? This particular spot in Canada, I, I, this is just saying it's the most common geological process. This is way too strong. Yeah. And and if it's replacing it, that then it, the other one is gone. We don't know that. We just are looking at this one spot and looking at the two different types of rocks they found there. This is a, a huge conclusion to draw. If you are reading that and you don't have that same feeling that I'm trying to convey right now, that like there's a lot of problems with this choice, it is going way too far, you are going to miss out on a lot of trap answers. This is obvious to me that choice B is way too strong. So you've got to train yourself in some way to notice it as strongly as I do, because it's it's obvious that it's wrong here. Uh, let's continue. See, uh, ooh, the majority of the rocks in the Acosta Nice Complex formed through subduction. I, I don't again. I don't think so. Uh, this time I'm going to go back because at least they're limiting us to this particular complex. But they talked about the time mattering, but I, I really don't think that they said they, they didn't count all the rocks, right? So. Uh, the, using isotope analysis, the researchers found that Acosta rocks dating to this time uh, strongly resemble modern rocks in a plume setting. By contrast, they found that rock, uh, rocks dating to this other time uh, are similar to the subduction setting. But there's no number. They're not saying, and we found that most of the rocks in this area were the plume or were the subduction. They're just saying, here are two types of rocks we found, and here's wh wh where they formed we're not getting the numbers that would allow us to justify a word like majority. Majority means, you know, 50% or more. So we, we, we really need numbers here. This is another really obvious quantifier trap that I would be very comfortable getting rid of. D, the rocks in the Acostanized complex are of a more recent origin than scientists previously thought. No, I don't, I don't know what they previously thought, right? Does it say they were trying to investigate this thing? They did a comparison. You know, it doesn't say that they thought it was going to be one thing and then the the result of the study showed otherwise. So honestly, I don't even need to care anymore about A. I, it has to be that. The others are so obviously wrong that I really have no choice. When I read A, I didn't know it was going to be right. I, honestly, I thought it would be wrong. I, I thought it was just naming a bunch of the like same kinds of sciency words that we see in the passage. And it was trying to lure me in to be like, hey, look, look at all these fancy words we repeated it's about the same thing, but I thought then the, like the time would be wrong or something like that. Um, and then I'd have to eventually get rid of it by comparing it to another choice that also said the same thing. But sometimes this happens, guys, where, you know, 
there's a reason I didn't bother doing a ton of analysis on choice A at first is I don't want to waste my time doing work that doesn't actually matter. And here, doing all that work to understand choice A in a deeper way would have been a waste of my time because B, C, and D are so bad that I have no choice but to pick A anyway. So let's do that work now just to really understand it. So they're saying the subduction processes began occurring in some locations no later than 3.75. So if we kind of get a, a little bit more detailed dumb summary, they're saying that at 4.02 billion years ago, we had some plumes. Then in the 3.6 to 3.75 billion years ago, we get the subduction, right? And then the present comes next. Present. Ignore the bad handwriting. The present is now, right? So subduction-like processes began occurring in some locations no later than, so that's kind of the, the end of this, the no later than 3.75 billion years ago. Um, the no later than is so weird to me. Does that mean, does that mean it's, it, it, it didn't happen before 3.75 um, or it happened closer to the present, right? Like is no later than this way or this way in time? I, I think it's this way because what they're saying is, I really don't know. This is so poorly worded. This is exactly why it was, it was a good thing that we didn't waste time on this, right? Because no later than means, I really don't know, guys. What do you think? Put in the comments. Does no later than, I guess it means that, well, based on what they're saying, no later than 3.75 billion years ago, meaning that it didn't happen the, the latest in time that it could have happened is 3.75 billion years ago. That seems really strong to me as well, honestly, because, right? It, it, just because we found some rocks with that are 4.02 billion years old that are the plumes, that means that there were no subduction things happening at that time as well. I don't know that. Maybe that's how I'm, maybe I'm reading it wrong. Um, I, I, I think what they mean here by no later than, is that like if you're if you're starting on a timeline at 4.02 billion years ago and the first number you're going to hit kind of working your way to the present is 3.75 billion years ago and so they at least had to begin at that time they might have begun later because of the 3.6 um i genuinely don't know this phrase is so confusing no later than 3.75 billion years ago. Are they saying then that 3.8 would be bad or are they saying that 3.7 would be bad, right? I think what they're saying is, <sighs> I genuinely don't know, who cares? Here's the thing, I'm done caring. Uh, I'm gonna move on to another question. I, it doesn't matter. And this is the beauty of these SAT questions is they're really trying to get you to focus on words that don't matter, on details that don't matter, to intimidate you on things. Every other choice here is so terrible. There is no reason to do this kind of analysis. So put in the comments what you think that means. I'm done with it.